Hello everyone, this is Rhea Banerjee here. Today I am going to share a few study tips of mine with you all. So let's get started. So the first point is what not to do before exams. So before exams you should not run behind new study materials or reference books. Just stick to your textbook. Second, one thing that helped me the most during exams, I guess it was having my own personalized notes prepared for each and every subject including the novel for English. Third, methods adopted by me to beat stress. So I used to watch YouTube videos, stand-up comedies, um, then read travel blogs, listen to music and that's all. The fourth, best time to study. So I guess it's the time when you have slept well, you're fresh and alert and you can concentrate well on your studies. Then fifth, how many board papers to solve? I believe there's no number to the board papers that you should solve, but try and solve at least three to four board papers and get them corrected by your teachers. Do take your prelims seriously and go through as many board question papers as possible. Solve the difficult questions from those papers. I think it will help. Thank you so much and all the best for your exams. Do well. Hi, I would like to give you some tips for preparing for your class 10. So it isn't a big matter as much as we think of it. It is just a normal exam. The only difference is that we are going to sit in some other classroom and give the exam. The biggest, biggest tip I would like to give you is just relax. You don't need to worry about anything. Uh, and just believe in yourself that you will do well. Take regular breaks and, and do things which you like to do. Revise and write your papers properly. Best of luck for exam. Don't take any tension. It's just another normal exam. And as for the preparation, NCRT is about just prepare NCRT as thoroughly as you possibly can. And be very thorough and clear with your concerns. All the best for your exam. Thank you. Good morning to all. Whenever you are preparing for any board exam or any other examination, remember that you are studying for knowledge and not for the marks. Because marks would only take you to the next call, next desired college. But the knowledge is uh, will be with you for your entire life. So study for the knowledge, not for marks. Secondly, I would like to emphasize on taking proper rest and sleep and proper exercise during the before and during the examinations. This would not only keep you physically fit, but also avoid boredom from your studies of the particular subjects. Third, I would like to say about the uh, about uh, the uh, attempting the questions during the examination, wherein you need you need not to um, emphasize uh, you need not to panic when you are unable to attempt any question. Rather, uh, think calmly about the question again, and if you are unable to attempt it still. Skip the question and go to the next question. Thank you. Thinking is very necessary for students to deal with examination stress and for them to perform well in exam. Also, there is nothing for you to worry about if you have studied each and every subject thoroughly and practiced the sample papers. I would also advise you to take frequent breaks during your long study sessions so that you can avoid boredom. Uh, eat healthy food and make sure that you get proper sleep before it, especially before your examination so that you are fresh the next day. All the best to all the students. So for physics, chemistry and maths, familiarize with every inch of the NCRT. Every inch. There's a lot of chance that questions can be asked from the additional exercises section. For English, enhance your vocabulary, practice writing and answer precisely what the question paper asks. CS has a fixed pattern of asking questions, so solving previous year question papers would be greatly beneficial. Uh, what I would do is I would mark questions difficult for me and then I would revise it on the day before the examination.